I'm in Dallas, Texas in Dealey Plaza and I'm standing at the spot where Andrew Zapruder stood on that fateful day in November 1963. I'm standing in the grassy knoll area uh, where uh, President John F. Kennedy was shot uh, almost 50 years ago. This, this, this is a, 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 almost a haunting sort of place for me and for my generation. Right there is the Texas Book Depository where Lee Harvey Oswald shot. There's still the conspiracy theory or whatever ideas of whether he was the lone gunman or not the lone gunman. But there's this sort of this, this, this feeling among those in my generation of how much that was a defining moment uh, for who we are. Um, Kennedy had come into office with such hopes, such dreams, such ideas, um, and, and wanted to turn things around, but yet his presidency was cut short uh, on that fateful day right, right here. And as I'm standing here, and as I toured the museum and the book depository, I just kind of got this, this, this eerie feeling, um, that this, this feeling of, of, um, of, of remorse. I, I just, I remember how much, where I was, I was in third grade, and I remember walking home from Hatton School, and the crossing guard on Hillbush Avenue telling us the president's been shot, and didn't know how to react to that, but this was a, a moment where we as a nation changed, uh, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, just for those of us that are here right now, uh, I don't know. Just is a it's a sad experience. Uh, no, yeah, a sad experience. I don't know how to describe my feelings. It it, it got to me uh, just standing here, especially in the place of the Zapruder location. Uh, but here we are, and may God bless this nation. Yes, indeed, we continue to look forward, and may something like that never happen again. I find it interesting that most motorists will swerve around the axis as they pass it. But may something like this never happen again to our nation.